how to make Jenkins Node online. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Now you'll notice that I have an agent set up on this controller. It's called Agent 1. What if I wanted to take that node offline? Well, I could do it through the UI, but I want to be able to do it through the CLI. So fortunately, the Jenkins CLI has a command that we can use to take a node online and offline. If you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there's a link to a video about how to use the Jenkins CLI down in the description. So let's go ahead and go over and take a look at Manage Jenkins. We'll go to Jenkins CLI, and let's look for the command online node and offline node. So since we already have the node online, let's take it offline first, and then we'll bring it back online. So we'll click on offline. What we'll see here is we'll run the command offline node. We'll give it the name of the node. In this case, it's agent one. And then we can give it optionally a value about why we're disconnecting the node. So let's go over into our shell and let's run the command offline node agent one. And we're going to give it the description of taking agent one offline for maintenance. So before we do that, we can already see agent one is sitting here idle, ready to do work, but let's go ahead and take it offline. So let's hit enter here. We'll notice that agent one has now changed to being offline. If we were to click on agent one, we can see here it was disconnected by admin taking agent one offline for maintenance. That was the description that we gave it. Now let's say we wanted to go ahead and bring this agent back online. We've finished our maintenance, everything is good. We could go ahead and bring it back online through the UI, but again, I want to be able to do it from the CLI because I might want to make an automation around this and the CLI makes that possible. So let's go ahead and go back over into our dashboard, manage Jenkins, go to Jenkins CLI, and let's look at online node. So with online node, all we do is just give it the name. We don't need to give it a description or anything else because we're just bringing it back online. Now we'll notice here that the agent is still showing offline. Let's go ahead and up arrow this. We'll get rid of our dash M because we don't need it. And let's change offline to online. And now if we take a look at our agent, we can see it's now come back online with both executors. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.